morning guys Sam here at Batch Stoves and this morning I'm at Ravencliff Falls um, at a hammock hang uh, trying out my new setup it's a uh, war bonnet blackbird clone uh, pretty nice area this is the first time I've been to this area as you can see there's a lot of uh, a lot of people here it's pretty crowded got campers and tents and of course a lot of hammocks but down here trying out my new percolator making some coffee and uh, using the uh, BS 1.1 And hopefully, I'll get some coffee perking here in a minute. It's pretty nice uh, out here. It got down to about got down to about uh, about 40 degrees last night. It wasn't too cold. It was real calm. It's getting kind of windy now, but it's not really that cold. Um, it's probably in the 50s or so. I, I don't know. I think the lowest tonight was 45. So it's probably a little warmer now. But I plan on trying to hike up to the falls. It's like five miles round trip. It's not a big deal. This is more like car camping than actually being out in the woods uh, on the trail. But it's good to get out with the guys uh, from hammock forums and shoot the gab and just hang out. So later today, hopefully we'll get some... Uh, video of the uh, falls till then So this is a trail going to Ravencliff Falls and most of the trails like this is kind of it's a very popular trail so the paths are beaten down but it's covered in a canopy of mountain laurel and it's actually quite nice and the creek runs right alongside the trail pretty much the whole way and people camp all along the trail tents, hammocks pretty much all along the trail pretty nice it's kind of populated for what I particularly like but Pretty nice. Had a uh, spam with red beans and rice last night for dinner, and I had sausage and eggs this morning for breakfast with some coffee. Turned out really well. Uh, tonight they're supposed to Squid Billy's supposed to be cooking up some chili for everybody, so I don't have to worry about dinner tonight. Really enjoying the hang so far. Really nice temps last night. I should be the same tonight. And uh, it's probably, it was like 50, 
in the 50s this morning. I think it may have gotten down into the 40s, I'm not sure. And it was actually a little warmer this morning than it was when we went to bed, so not really sure. Probably in the valley here it's a little cooler, but I think it's probably going to be uh, maybe in the 60s today. Not real sure. Very nice. So, let's see if we can make it up to the falls because that's where the the big falls. That's what everybody comes for. So let's uh, head that way. One section of the falls. I don't know if this is the big falls or not. I guess we'll find out. It's a pretty good drop though. Very nice. Can't really get a good view from here, but we're going up and see if we can get something better. Okay, we're, we're at Ravencliff Falls. And very beautiful. Just to give you a kind of a perspective on how big it is. See those guys down there. And then all the way to the top. Very beautiful outcropping there. And the falls just run through the split of these two big huge rocks. Very nice. Trail. Actually the trail keeps going up and you can actually get on the very top. If you want peace and quiet, it's not the place to come, but it's great. This is great for like a day hike. Very, 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 very nice place. Beautiful. So this is my Warbonic Blackbird clone uh, from the plants I got off Hammock Farms. Slept in it last night, been sleeping in it again tonight. And the guys from the Hammock Farms are over there and we're making chili and gonna have a grand old time. We got uh, Mad Dogs making jalapeno mac and cheese and Squid Billy's making chili. Here. Well, it's Sunday morning. Uh, it's been a pretty good weekend. Last night we had some chili. Squid Billy made a big pot of chili, and uh, Mad Dog made some mac and cheese, jalapeno mac and cheese. Very, very good. Uh, got down to about 43 last night, not too cold making me some coffee now and uh, we had some neighbors over here that some young kids and boy they were up to about three in the morning hooting and hollering in the middle of the night so finally got some good sleep after that but I think I'm gonna try to make me some sausage and eggs this morning and uh, I'm gonna pack up and head home had a good hike to the falls yesterday that was fun Beautiful falls. Uh, it's a really nice place. It's just heavily populated. It's very popular, so uh, it tends to be real crowded. In fact, the parking lot was so crowded yesterday that they were writing tickets because people were illegally parked on the side. Uh, it was crazy. So, anyways, let me get this coffee down and get some breakfast and uh, head home. I got my little one egg wonder here. I got some sausage and bacon crumbles. And fix and toss me an egg in here.
Şöyle edelim onu. Use my little adjustable stove here. One gag wonder. The lid on that for a moment. And use my little dried baking dish here to eat out of. Some of the luxuries of kind of carb camping with alcohol stoves. You can bring better food when you can tow the cooler in. Of course, I guess you could say we could bring a better stove, but uh, if you like alcohol stoves, as I do, it's fun just to see what you can cook. All right, there we go. So we're done. And I'll start another batch. Thanks for watching. Let's eat breakfast. Well, as you can see, we're all packing up, heading home. Had a great weekend. Got to get the hammock all packed up. Sunday morning, and we still have the young college kids out here. They were up till three in the morning, keeping everybody awake. But uh. Pretty much everything else is gone. Real great weekend. Had a real good time. Uh, met some new people as usual on these hangs. And uh, good fun. Everybody, we all got to sit around and everybody's good at something. And you learn some new stuff and hopefully you pass on some stuff. And... Uh, that's what it's all about. Now back to the grind. Thanks for watching the video. I'm Sam at Batch Stoves at Ravencliff Falls. Have a great day.